Hello, this is my review for Apple's remote desktop. Here we go. This is the er, remote desktop window. As you see here, I have two iBooks. It's really only one iBook. This is a VNC server on the iBook, and this is the Apple remote desktop server. As you see, the VNC server doesn't give me all the information. Apple's server gives me all the information from current application, the user logged in, the IP address, the Mac OS X version, iBook, the machine model, the label, which that would give me also, as you say, the Apple remote desktop version, and the current status. Okay, so I am going to observe both compute both uh, clients, which are the same client. That's the multiple computer observe window. If I want to control a computer, I can click on that, control, and this is the VNC server, so I have to click connect. The other one's faster, but at the last second you saw that. Yeah, see, so you get the point. It's just like Apple's uh, screen sharing. So I can copy the, an item, let's say, from my desktop or something, and copy, and it sends it to the iBook or whatever other client computer you're using. I can install packages wirelessly so I don't need to download them multiple times. I can send a Unix command, and it gives me nice templates for them. And of course, I can make my own. I can get reports on the computer, system overview reports, file search, the software version report, uh, user history report, that's nice. Spotlight, search the computer, send the message, and I'm going to send a message to the iBook. So, hello, send, alright, I can't do it to the VNC server. So I am going to send message hello, and there's the message that comes up. So as you see now, I'm going to chat with that computer, hello, and that comes up there. Then they can type back. So that's basically that. Now I'm going to go back to the regular remote desktop window. So I can log out the user. Shut down the computer, sleep the computer, restart the computer, wake the computer, power on if it supports lights out management, empty the trash, or rename the computer. Uh, let's rename this one instead. And there, the computer is renamed. Um, to control the computer, I just click the click on the computer. Control, then ask me that. And then, there, I'm controlling the computer, basically, it'll come up. So, that's basically my review for Apple Remote Desktop. It's a little pricey, but I think it is worth it if you have multiple computers in your house.